prototype uh, part two. So as you all know, we singers, we spew a lot of aerosols out of our mouths when we sing. And um, I'm trying to come up with a way to protect ourselves and everybody around us when we're singing, especially during rehearsals. So I have created this uh, singer's mask prototype. It's um, especially designed for singers. So we have uh, like flexibility with it. We can open our mouths up pretty wide um, when we're sucking in air really fast like we singers do it doesn't stick to our mouth so we can't breathe um, it has uh, this is cotton on the front of it so it's going to be it's actually two layers of cotton so it's going to be capturing the cotton um, it has a hard inner surface um, which I'm going to show you um, so that we singers can have some resonance while we're singing so um, it addresses a lot of our needs and it's actually uh, been sent off the prototype to be tested so we'll find out really soon how many of these particulates it actually captures. So um, I'm going to be showing you right away then um, how to make this mask and enjoy singing everybody. Here's how you'll make the singer's mask. You'll need a Faberware two cup measuring cup. It is just right for my face, but you may need to find something bigger or smaller depending on your face size. The tip of it fits over the tip of the nose comfortably. The hard plastic acts as a resonating surface for the voice, keeps the fabric that covers it far enough away from your face so you can breathe in hard and not have the fabric suck into, onto your mouth, and enables you to spit out your diction. Once it is cut, it can be cleaned and used over and over again in whatever other cloth coverings you make for it. You'll also need a pair of girls' tights sized 12 to 16. I used these because they stretch to give a singer the comfort and flexibility for jaw and mouth movements they need, yet they fit snugly against the face, trapping particles and spit from escaping. Fill the measuring cup up with water to one and a half cups as that will give you the width you'll need to keep the fabric off your mouth when you breathe in and the space your lips need to spit out the diction. Put the masking tape at the watermark to give you a measurement for where you'll cut the plastic. I use a Dremel tool to cut the plastic. Cut off the handle. It's the hardest part to cut. Cut along the top edge of the masking tape. Remove the masking tape when you're done. The two pieces should come apart now. Remove all the gritty plastic pieces from the bottom of the piece you'll use for the mask. This is what it will look like. Use the plastic piece as a pattern. Place it on whatever fabric you'll use to cover its opening with. The CDC recommends two pieces of cotton fabric. Cut out about an inch away from the mask opening that you'll breathe through. Sew a basting stitch about one fourth inch from the edge to hold the two pieces of fabric together, then finish it with a zigzag stitch. Pull out whatever pair of tights you choose to use. Measure eight inches from the waistband down to the legs and cut off the lower leg and foot portion of the tights. This is what the tights will look like. You'll need some space for your chin so your chin is snugly yet flexibly covered. Measure three inches from the top of the waistband. Split the tights up the crotch. On the chin side, cut up to three inches below the waistband. On the nose side, cut up to two and a half inches below the waistband. 
Keep track which side will cover the chin and which side will cover the nose. They will both match up with the side seams in the tights waistband. Now you'll have a big oval opening which will go over your face. Finish the edge of the oval opening by hemming it with a zigzag stitch. Fold a 1 4 inch hem under a couple of times on the nose side of the opening that will fit comfortably over your nose, block air from escaping and make it so you can see. Sew the leg ends together, one leg at a time. Sew a 1 4 inch straight line, then zigzag the edge. Fold over the leg end about one half inch to create a ribbon holder end and sew it down. This is how the tights will look at this point. Measure halfway around the waistband with two pins on both sides. Measure the fabric that will cover the plastic piece at halfway points both vertically and horizontally. With right sides together, pin the fabric to the top of the waistband with the top nose side of the fabric matching the nose side of the waistband which will be on one side of the waistband's seams. Sew the fabric to the tight waistband, gently stretching the waistband to match the size of the fabric edge. It will look like this when you're done. Cut two bands of 1 4 inch ribbon to 24 inches long. Fold over the end of the ribbon and put a safety pin in it so you can thread it through the end of the tights. Thread the ribbon through the end. Fold over one end of the ribbon and pin it to the other side of the ribbon. Sew them together with a zigzag stitch. Insert the plastic mask piece into the fabric mask matching the nose end of the plastic with the nose end of the fabric. It will look like this. Now, just insert your chin into the chin end and pull the mask up on your face and tie it above the crown of your head so it is not covering your ears. Rest snugly on your face, yet not so tight that it's pressing on your larynx. Once you've tied it, you don't have to keep tying it. Just put it on and take it off your head. That's the end. Thanks for watching.